Hey everyone, it's Victor here, and I wanted to talk about a few things. I just had a moment of inspiration. I was just taking photos, vibing, taking some time for myself, which is something I don't actually do because I don't have time to. And I thought I'd make a video about it because that's what I need to do more often. If I get the inspiration, I need to just roll with it. In the past, I have definitely lived my life almost as if it was someone else's life. I kind of took on roles that I wasn't happy with, I would do things I didn't enjoy, I would like, I don't know, eat things I wouldn't like, wear clothes I wouldn't like, and in this moment, just sitting here now, being so completely myself, even if you think that might be incredibly weird and out there, being myself, being me, wearing the things I want to wear, eating the things I want to eat, doing the things I want to do, that is honestly, in simple terms, the kind of pathway to happiness I'm not saying it's a solution I'm not saying it's a like one-size-fits-all thing and my life is by no means perfect right now it's not and this is gonna be a little short video because I honestly don't have the time I have food cooking in the oven and I have things to do and I have stuff to tidy up and adult responsibilities that I just didn't have before when I used to upload I used to upload twice a week on this channel can you believe that I can't imagine having that much time now. I am trying to literally live my best life. And you can say that until you're blue in the face, but do you really believe it? Are you really living your best life? Are you taking opportunities when you can to do something you enjoy while also doing responsibilities? Wearing clothes that yes, you maybe have to wear to work, but might just be kind of your style, a little bit of you in there. There's always a way to sprinkle a little bit of you in there, even if you have to pretend to be someone else for an hour, for a day, for even years. There's always a way to be you, even if it's just in, the, in your private life. And I want you to do that more often because I'm trying to do that more often. Molding your life into something that's going to be something you're proud of, something that you get excited about waking up every morning. It takes time and it's hard, and it's not perfect, because life isn't perfect. And we stumble up, and we change our mind about what we like, and that's okay too. You need to stop letting others decide what happens to you. And I know it can be difficult. Say if you're living at home with your parents still, or you're living under a carer, or someone who is kind of controlling your life, it can be a little bit harder, but there are still ways for you to take control and be yourself, even in those situations. You just have to get a little bit creative about it. At work, for example, I can't wear this. I can't wear this at work. But I can kind of get away with these because they are pinstrap trousers and I can get away with a black button-up shirt. I can't get away with makeup, but I can grow my hair out long. There's little things and we need to look for these little things. We need to try and find the joy in the little everyday things that we take for granted. For example, today, just an example, I'm going to have to do a food shop. And that is probably one of the most everyday boring things you have to do, right? You have to survive, go into the shop and buy stuff. But how do I make it enjoyable? The walk there, I look up at the stars, I look up at the sky. Even if it's raining, I take in the atmosphere, I look at the trees, I look at the gravestones, I look at the architecture surrounding me. I have a little moment to dream, to think. Even when I'm in the shopping centre, I'm looking at food and I'm like, hmm, how could I make that pleasing to me? How could I make that nice? How could I make this boring, normal thing into something exciting? There's always a way to do that with everything. This little room, for example, this wasn't even my room when I moved in. It was the spare room. And I saw it and I said, hmm, do you know what? I'm going to decorate it. And I found little things in charity shops and friends have given me gifts and I have made it into a little nest. And I love it, and it's a very, very, very tiny room. Not the kind of mansion, you know, that maybe I dream of, but you make it work, and you make it enjoyable, and you count your blessings every day, and that's what's keeping me going. I just hope that more of you can just sit back, even just now, like, listen to me and put your phone down and just look around and try to see something 
that you could do to change the room you're in or what you're wearing or what you're going to have for tea tonight into something that makes you go, oh, actually, that's kind of cool. And I feel like more than ever we've been thinking about these things because of obviously the past couple of years, we've been stuck in our houses. And a lot of us may have already done these things, explored what actually makes us happy. But I still feel like some of us are stuck in this rut with making other people happy rather than ourselves. There needs to be a healthy balance and you need to take more time for you and need to, need to take time to discover who you actually are even if you have to pretend to be someone else for other people. And I don't really know where this video is going. I just felt like making one and I know it's short, but I just kind of want to get a discussion going on this because for ages, I pretended to be someone else. Even after I came out, I was still pretending to be someone else. I had my short hair. I wasn't wearing makeup. I wasn't, you know, dressing like this. I was still pretending to be the man-man the, the, the boy that everyone, you know, assumed I would just be. And that's not me. And every day I'm discovering new things about myself, about my identity, about, I don't know, my likes and dislikes, just everything. And life is a journey and you're going to discover loads of different things about yourself that you cannot predict. But that's all right. In fact, it's great because that's what makes life so exciting, is it's always changing. You're not going to be stuck in this position forever. If you're somewhere you don't want to be right now, this is not going to be forever. Just slowly mold your life. Get things that you love around you, people you love around you, people who appreciate you. And slowly, but surely, you will be living your best life. And that's the pathway I'm on at the moment. And that is what I'm trying to encourage. So I just wanted to put it out there to remind you to genuinely live your best life in a non-cheesy way, in a genuine way. Because I know it sounds a bit cheesy. I know it sounds a little bit. Like when someone says, live your best life, it's almost like, like it's like a joke. And I don't, I don't want it to come across like that because it's not a joke. Your life isn't a joke. So that's just me checking in. I am... Again, very, very busy. I literally had five minutes to film this. Well, probably 10 minutes because this video is probably about 10 minutes. I'm gonna get back to learning, working, cleaning, being an adult, but I'm going to be enjoying little parts of that in any way that I can. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you very soon.